practical and reasonably priced cars that appeal to a broad market are commonplace. One of them is the Seat Leon ST, which is both functional and stylish. It's rare to find alternative power systems such as hybrid technology in this price category. The Seat TGI runs on compressed gas and gasoline. Car tester Andre Zimmermann says many drivers like to give it some gas, but that has its price. Diesel and gasoline are quite expensive these days, and it's also not good for the environment. But you can save money and spare the environment if you give it gas in another sense, and this Seat Leon, which runs on compressed natural gas. The combustion process is not very different in technical terms. Instead of gasoline, the compressed gas is mixed with air via magnetic valves and ignited in the cylinders. The price of this additional technology, including the compressed natural gas tanks, will set you back around 900 euros. You emit 40 grams less of CO2 per kilometer than when you're driving on gasoline. But before you rush out and buy one, Andre recommends making sure there's a natural gas filling station in your neighborhood. There are currently over 900 in Germany, which might sound like plenty, but on long journeys, he advises you to also check whether there are natural gas filling stations on your route. But you also have a 50-liter gasoline engine to fall back on. The natural gas tank and gasoline tank together would give you, in theory, a range of over 1,000 kilometers. Filling up is easy and completely safe. On the Leon, the gas filler opening is right next to the opening for gasoline. You insert the pump nozzle, which is locked into place by a lever, and then press the button. The filling process can't start until the pump has been securely attached. When you're done, switch the gas supply off, unlock the pump, and pull it out. Next up, Andre is going to test just how responsive a car run on natural gas is. Well, it's hardly a racing car, he says. It accelerates nicely. The only difference that he can spot is on the speedometer. A green CNG symbol lights up when he switches to natural gas, but he says there are no disadvantages in terms of driving comfort. Thanks to its bi-fuel technology, the Leon TGI is an environmentally friendly alternative to the conventional gasoline-driven car. And you don't have to worry about limited range. And in the long term, you will save on operating costs. The TGI cockpit looks quite normal, apart from the fact that it has two fuel dials. Andre would like to see more cars run on compressed gas. They cost less in the long term, they're environmentally friendly, and they don't compromise much in terms of practicality. Andre acknowledges that the gas tanks under the car cost about 100 liters of luggage space, but he doesn't really notice the difference. The trunk still has a nice, big loading surface.